Hello everyone. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I found in my bag of bran that I get at my produce store. Very easy to hide in the bran itself because you can't see them when they're a moth at least. Um, very hard to zoom in on here. Um, we just call them pantry moths. I'm not quite sure of what the actual name is, but scientific name. Anyway, I'll show you what I've had to do today with these stupid moths. Very so I um, had these moths floating around, and I knew they'd been coming from somewhere. We've had them before, and they were into everything, absolutely everything. We had to empty out cupboards, uh, everything in the pantry had to go. We call them pantry moths because that's basically what they are. Um, if you know the technical name, write it in the comments. That'd be good. Um, but I've just spent two hours separating out this tray of mealworms. This is just what I'm left with at the end. I was going to throw the tray out because it had quite a few of these little grubs in there that I'll show you in a minute. But um, they, uh, the bigger worms were quite easy because I could separate them with a bigger sieve. But I don't have a sieve that will separate the worms without keeping some of the bran in. So I've had to um, pick them out by hand. My little tools, my um, plastic spoon, my little brush comes in handy. Very worthwhile tool, just a simple old little paintbrush. Anyway, I started out with a tray like this. Um, I've already done one. They're back in there now. They um, and I've treated the um, the bran before it's gone back into the new trays. So the bran has actually been heated in the microwave um, for two minutes. So a bowl this size, which is quite a solid bowl size. Um, two minutes, it will be quite hot. Just let it cool, toss it around, let it cool before you use it again. So I've prepared this tray. I have got some of the bigger worms back into this tray that's come out of the other one. So these guys are quite happy. They've got their new brand. There will not be any grubs in there. Um, so, I mean, mites are another thing that you can get through the produce stores, which they are really hard to get rid of. You may have to throw out um, your mealworms if that's the case. I've heard that eucalyptus leaves are useful. I haven't tried it yet. I've got eucalyptus leaves in my yard. So when it comes around to it, I may have to. But um, the grubs themselves... First thing you'll notice is webbing amongst the, um, the brand itself. Now, you can't blame the produce stores because they have a lot of stock on hand and, um, yeah, they, they're bound to get it regardless. So the first sign is, yes, you get the webbing. Like that, I'm not sure you can see that very well, but usually when there's webbing, you'll have the pantry moths hanging around. So, um, like I said, bowl full, microwave it for a couple of minutes, toss it around till it gets cool, then you can reuse or use it um, into new fresh trays. So, now these are the guys I've just um separated out because, because they're smaller I've had to pick them out um, I'm glad I didn't throw the tray away because you can see how many there are in here I haven't counted them but I'm quite sure there's quite a few hundred so um, throwing them out was not an option um, the 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 bran itself that I threw out that these guys were in could possibly have had eggs in there, which 
I was willing to sacrifice because I just can't have the moths everywhere and destroy everything in the house. Um, so these guys will be much happier because they don't have to compete for the, well, they're going to be in another tray anyway because they're smaller and they need to be able to get to the food so they don't have to compete with the bigger guys. So they'll go on a tray on their own. Um, but the moth, the, the, the grub stage of the pantry moth is very similar to a mealworm. And I'll show you what the two look like, possibly around the same size. You'd be mistaken for thinking that the grub is actually a mealworm. But the easy way to tell is the way they walk. Like a newly shedded mealworm looks white. And the grub that these that turn into the pantry moth are also white. But when you see the difference in the way that they walk, the pantry moth is like a caterpillar. See how it walks. It inches along like a caterpillar, whereas mealworms, they drag the back end of their body. They don't inch like a pantry moth grub, whatever you want to call it, does. So pantry moth larvae walks like a caterpillar does. Mealworm, oops, I can't even pick them up, they're so tiny. Mealworms drag the back end of their body along. They don't inch like a grub does. So these guys can go back in with the rest. I just want to separate them out to show you the differences between the two. And yeah, this is what you'll find in your trays, wherever you put your mealworms, anything, in your flour, any sort of grains or produce you have in your cupboards, cooking stuff, baking stuff. If it's got webbing in it, that's what you're going to expect. One of these, or many of these, and um, they get into your food, you just got to throw it out, you can't eat it. So... <clears throat> this video was supposed to be something else, but I had to do this one first. Um, so really, <clears throat> you either throw that, throw everything out and start again, or spend two painstaking hours trying to separate them. So that's what I did. I'm glad I did, because um, I don't want to have to throw out that many worms. Um, so there you go. And I, the thing is too, with these little worms... Um, they're so different in size. There's quite big ones compared to others who are quite minuscule. Some of them may have not long hatched and that's why they are white. Over here, we've got something that size compared to something that size. So, yeah. It was hard to do, but worthwhile. <clears throat> so now I've treated the um, I've treated the next lot of bran. I have my new tray. These guys here are going to actually get sifted before they go into here, into this next tray, because even though that small amount of bran can still carry the eggs from the moth. So into here first is our fresh lot of bran that has been heat treated. Um, just make sure there's enough. I should just pop it on top, maybe a bit more. Um, I did heat treat a couple of lots at the start of that bag, but I didn't continue. So is my fault. So that's ready for
for these guys to go into but first of all I'm going to try and trap as many as I can with the apples possibly and transfer them into the tray the new tray so um, this will be my next one but I know there are bigger worms in here and my sieve will separate the worms from the rest of the contents oh, here and this here is my reason for my next video my next generation of darkling beetles coming up I will put that little guy aside he's a good side good size sorry um, I have got smaller ones which I will show you in the next video but these guys here will quite easily be sifted out I'll be able to separate them completely from the bedding the bran and there'll be no chance of transferring any of the um, moth larvae into the fresh bed so they will take about two minutes to separate not two hours as with my last lot as you can see these are growing quite well I do actually have about about 3,000 mealworms sitting in my fridge at the moment I need to get a new fridge um, so I can store them I am selling about to advertise them sorry to sell them locally um, but yes there are um, challenges along the way you see my other videos the process is in that's been taken some things have been changed um, but when you the end result good fat nice fat worms like these guys I'm really happy they did start to morph when they were a bit smaller so I was trying to extend them out a bit I don't know how I've managed to do that but I have and they are growing to quite a good size now and in my next video you'll see the difference between this guy that has just morphed and previous ones that are quite small anyway I will get back to the task of reassigning these little guys into their new fresh pen tray and um, I'll get on with the sifting of the next tray and a few more after that okay thanks for watching um, if you've got any comments or questions just write them down thanks for watching